Kemba, uh, how do you feel this season went overall for you? And where do you feel you are in your career and your general you know, journey to try to get healthy and be back to the all-star level you were at last season? Uh, I mean, it wasn't the greatest season for me personally. Um, you know, there are definitely some things I would, you know, I would like to play better, more consistently. Uh, as far as where I'm at, I mean, you know, I'm just... I need to, I need time. I just need a little bit of time to reflect and you know just get myself just get myself back together. Um, as far as my knee, you know, I thought I had a thought I dealt with it pretty pretty good this season. Um, you know, just an unfortunate, you know, ax you no know, incident that happened in game two. So um you know, I'll be all right. Tim Bontemps. I guess to that point, Ken, but two things. Uh, the first is what exactly happened in game two when you, you did bang your knee in the first place? And then beyond that, you know, obviously, like you said, you're on this program all season. It seemed like it kept you healthy throughout it. Is that something you think is going to have to continue in future seasons in terms of playing half of back-to-backs and stuff? Or is that something? I don't, that I don't really know. I'm not planning on it to be like that, to be honest. Um, no, I'm really just planning on having a big summer. Get myself feeling good again. Um you know, it's been a while since I've, since I've really, really had time off. Um, so, you know, this is this is really just an important time for me. <clears throat> and, and as far as that goes, obviously you had to go from that strengthening program right into the season with the way things went. Is it, part of your hope that with a bit of a break now coming up for a few months, you can kind of get back to where you were before sure. just with that extra for time? Sure. For sure, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely thinking that. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm just going to really just attack it. Um, you know, just take some time off, reflect on the year. Um, you know, just think about some things that I have to improve on. You know, think about, you know, ways to just, you know, get myself back feeling good, you know. Um, but, you know, I need some time for that. So, yeah. Adam Himmelsbach. Hey, Kemba, how did you uh, bruise your knee and have this bum bruise recently? What actually happened? Um, it was all- just I don't, I don't It was just an incident. I just kind of landed a little funny um, in game two. And sitting out, was this all related to your previous knee pain, or is this all? No, um, not at all. Not at all. It's just a new, it's a whole new injury. It wasn't a flare-up or anything. It was just a whole new injury, unfortunately. John Corrales. Kemba, how disappointing is it for you you came to Boston. There are two playoff runs. The first one's in the bubble. The second one, the the only game in front of a full crowd, you you have to miss uh-huh. part of what you came here for. How disappointing is it? Has it has it been for you to to miss out on all of that? It's tough. It's, it's been really tough. Um, you know, especially because you know, over the course of my career, you know, I've played so many games and I've been healthy. And you know, like you said, you know, I came to Boston to to be a part of. You no know, special runs and be a part of, you know, um, high intensity games and fans going wild and you know, I was I wasn't able to you know be a be a part of that unfortunately. Um, but you know, just got to get right. I got to get right. Last two questions for Kemba. We'll go to Mark Murphy. Hey Kemba, I know that. Because of COVID, because of injuries, you guys never really got a good look at this team this year. What do you think you have here? Um, do you anticipate things changing? I have no idea. Like I said, you know, just need time to reflect. You know, it's just, it just so soon, you know. Um, I do think we have a special group. You know, obviously with Jason and Jalen, you know, those two guys emerging the way they did this year, they were just... They're just two special talents. Um, but I do think we have a special group. And, you know, we can definitely learn, you know, from this season. Final question, Mark D'Amico. Hey, Kemba, at the start, you mentioned this long stretch that you've been on. I mean, this kind of started for you with Team USA a couple summers ago. And you go through, then you've got the bubble. You deal with a couple injuries. I'm just curious, how do you feel mentally at the end of this stretch, it I would imagine that it had to have been pretty draining over the last couple of years. Yeah, it's tough. I'm like, it's, it's hard, you know, like, 
as a as a professional athlete, like the last thing you want to do is be injured and you know not be able to be in the playoffs, uh, not be able to be there for your teammates. You know, um, it's tough, very tough, especially because I'm 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 a competitor. Um, you know, I just I love to play basketball. You know, I love to do to go out there and do what I can to help my teammates win a game. Um, and because I couldn't do that, I was definitely you know a little bit down. Um, very tough situation. But you know, I got to look ahead. Mm-hmm. You know, I just want to I want to I want to continue to get healthy and continue to be, you know, get better. You know, that's that's my goal. All right, we'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Kemba. Thank you. Thank you.